a glimpse into the lives of artists, authors, and influencers, discussing sincere moments, shareable stories, and unfiltered memories. Let's take a snapshot with Karen Burke. So many people hear the name of Karen Burke and associate it with Toronto Mass Choir. How long have you been directing Toronto Mass Choir for? Well, I was a co-founder and director, so we've mm -hmm. been together for 29 years. So yeah. That's a long time. <laughs> 29 good years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's hard to believe it's been that long, but that's yes. That's a long time. Mm -hmm. Now, during that time and through um, the ministry of TMC, um, God has brought you through different countries mm -hmm. to worship, mm -hmm. a Juno, you have a Juno mm -hmm. Award. Mm -hmm. Like, did you ever foresee this happening when you first started TMC? No, not at all. I mean, I, I was a choral conductor, that's what I trained to be, mm -hmm. uh, you know, classically trained. Um, and but I've always done gospel music it's always been part of my life so it, it was felt natural to marry the two mm. and when the invitation came um, let's do a re live recording would you like to conduct it we we're like sure like we're game you know let's do this and um, and did that first recording a hundred people and at the end of it you know we're like okay bye and they're like can we can we just like meet like you know once a month you know and so it sort of had that sort of yeah, evolution yes um, and so there wasn't really any thought as to what it could be because really there was no 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 gospel choirs like that I mean the only choir that's like slightly older than ours is, is Montreal Jubilation Choir mm. but even they they were more traditional spirituals you know we were more contemporary mm -hmm. so um, there was nobody telling showing us how to do this so as we were doing it everything was the first you know to the first to do a live recording first to do a live recording with an orchestra first to, you know different things like that so um, it's been a journey a, a learning process and uh, this is definitely the the house that God built there is no doubt about that. <laughs> That's amazing. Now, this next question is really off script, but how much of you are in is in Toronto Mass Choir? You know, I've developed um, a philosophy of conducting and, and working with people that has been very much shaped by my experiences with TMC. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I was a bit of a reluctant leader when I started because I was young. I mean, I was, you know, in my early 20s. Like, so I need to, I don't think I had the backbone you know, and I hadn't. I think I needed to be more clear. When you know what it is you want, then you can get it. I don't think I actually knew. So it was really God leading and being and showing us possibilities, bringing people alongside. I had some wonderful mentors. Um, I've always I was teaching. I got into teaching in, in a more formal way, and so those lessons also helped inform what I do with the choir. Mm -hmm. But I am passionate about people, and uh, and their growth, and I'm also passionate that the choir is. is stands for something, that it's consistent in its messaging, mm -hmm. and, and, and I think those principles, my husband and I, because we both count, we were co-founders, um, those principles are really what make you, TMC unique. Um, we've, we've looked at other different choirs and, and you know, compare ourselves to other choirs, and, um, and it's not like it's better or worse, it's just different, different. right? And I think when I think about, like, man, we don't know what we're doing, we need to, and I look at other people like, they don't know what they're doing either. So I'm like, okay, we're in good company. Yes. <laughs> Let's just keep on doing, you know? But um, I, I feel so blessed. We've had such an amazing core of people. We have many people in the choir that have been there since we, like, we started the choir 29 years ago. And uh, so those people also have helped to shape. We've done life together. Um, you know, my girls were babies and now they're, you know, grown women. I got a grandson now and, you know, so, so yeah, I think that the imprint um, is really, it has to be this, the, the imprint of God on my life that I've been able to, to you know, transform into what we're doing today. 